here in Tasmania and I'm going to show you some of my favourite things to do around home so that you can holiday here this year. So we are heading up to Bay of Fires today to go for a snorkel. They're taking the doggos because it's dog friendly and you can pretty much snorkel right off the beach there it's super good for families and people that are just wanting to go for an easy snorkel kelp forests all along bay of fires and really clear patches that are amazing and saint helens is a beautiful little town it's closest to if you fly into launceston and you drive from launceston to get to the east coast the things to do around there bay of fires is just one of them and it's one of my favorite spots to go Systems easier, so once you start going, the ratio makes life a little bit easier when you need better gear. Yep. And then. <laughs> this track's called Send Helens. fun time it's actually so much fun but we did the we did a difficult one there's like easy medium and hard ones and yeah it's the most incredible views and the one we went through goes through like a fern forest and yeah you it on your body is it hard riding up the hill to get down the hill or running through that no so you get a shuttle up to the top and then it's downhill the whole way and so it's very easy and yeah, you just roll the whole way down. It's actually the funnest thing ever. Um, highly recommend if you're in St. Helens, um, come check out Gravity Isle. We hired our bikes from those guys and they are amazing. And they're very, very experienced at the trails. It was super fun to watch them take off. And um, yeah, it's right in St. Helens. So you can literally ride your bike and then go down and go for a swim. We are just about to go up to a blueberry farm that we go to like once or twice a week. No, once fortnight well pretty much <laughs> twice a week you because i love that. blueberry you can pick you can pick like a three kilo bucket and they're the best blueberries you'll ever eat so we're going to take you guys there and then we're going to go to evercreech forest where you can take your pups on a walk through really big manor gums so that's what we're doing today you reckon pups ready for blueberries not impressed just yet <laughs> they will be 
Really important when driving around Taz is there is a lot of wildlife on the road. Obviously, I always stop and check on animals and there's a lot of people right now driving around. So if you hit something, please pull over and check on the animal. Make sure it's got nothing in its pouch and if you're not comfortable, just contact the local wildlife carers, which you can just Google. I'll put some links in this video. A lot of wombats, a lot of possums, a lot of uh, wallabies and like paddy melons and smaller kangaroos that are around. Um, and if you're driving at dawn and dusk, please be so careful because there's more wildlife here than anywhere else I've ever driven on the roads. And snakes, please don't run over snakes. Where we are going right now up towards the blueberries, there's often lots of wombats, so which is awesome to see in the paddocks, but yeah, keep your eyes out on the road, please. Fluffy, Neither does fluffies. Fluffy friends are friends. This is my happy place. <laughs> Aside from underwater. What are these ones? At the blueberry farm, and you can pick your own blueberries. I only just started, but we're gonna pick one of these buckets. And these are all local and organic blueberries. And they're $12 a kilo here, and you're supporting local people that are growing these. <laughs> As opposed to buying them from the supermarket, which often come from overseas and are probably covered in chemicals. So if you want to eat good fruit and veg, there's so much in Tassie. Just drive around and you'll find lots of signs for local fruit. Highly recommend these guys out of St. Helens. It's so good. But yeah, the biggest challenge is picking them for the bucket and not eating them as you go because it's really hard to do that. All right, we're just going to get one kilo today because it's actually really hot in Tassie today. Um, and we're going to probably come back and get another three kilos when it's a bit cooler. Hey, Jim. <laughs> We were just driving and we were like, oh, we'll pull over and um, so the dogs could go for a swim. And it's the most amazing little forest area. All these huge ferns, just so lush in here and everything's so healthy. The dogs are having the time of their lives. Hey, honey. What did you find? Absolutely loving it. Look at this place. Yeah. Everything's so big. Gotta go the whole way. Oh, it's so cold. You check out. We just found the most amazing little creek and the dogs had an absolute ball. Ahana is beyond stoked. I'm just gonna go up to the forest now. We just made it to Evercreech Forest Reserve, which is about a half an hour, 40 minute drive from St. Helens. And it's one of Tasmania's great short walks called the Walk of the White Knights, which is about 20 minutes. Over there, there's like a waterfall walk as well. And yeah, it's so beautiful and calm here. And you can camp out here with your doggies. Um, they're going to be under control, obviously, at all times. We got these little harnesses for our pups. Um, they're very good. They stay with us, anyways. But yeah, pretty much just stick to the path. And they're some of the biggest managums, I think, in Australia. There's this really cool little shelter in here. It's a pretty amazing spot. If you were camping, you could come in the fire for when it's colder and it just backs onto this amazing forest.
everything. What is this? What made this hole? Uh, Any guesses? <laughs> Write it in the comments. <laughs> So we are in Evercreech Forest Reserve and there's so many fallen down huge trees it's hard to put in perspective how big this is and everywhere you look is just lush forest it's insane these huge ferns and this giant one you can see how big it is compared to Chip and the dogs it's so big so wild very important to protect um, it's really warm here in Tasmania today it would get really cold here such a pretty walk through here look out for snakes when it's hot especially during the middle of the day we haven't seen any yet but um, I just had a leech on my leg so watch out for leeches as well <laughs> forgot to mention earlier obviously when you're at any of the forest walks stick to the paths because a lot of this is like hundreds of years old so yeah, humans and dogs stick to the paths. Our dogs are very well behaved. So Hana doesn't really go more than a few meters from me. And they follow each other. Hansi, hey, wait, wait. Good girl. Good girl for waiting. Good girls. lot of things that you can do um, in the forest in Tasmania this is just one um, so I recommend some of the things here so Griffin Forest Reserve there's waterfalls at Mathena um, Mount Puzzler Forest there's a whole list of things and there's like endless things to do in the forest in Tassie so best bet is to jump on Google Maps um, or like wiki camps and have a look around to where suits you best because uh, there's so many things to do and if you want to find spots to yourself highly recommend driving around till you find your own little secluded spot because there's lots of untouched places uh, my best advice for all of the forest parts of Tassie